many American communities have faced dramatic economic and employment challenges. How these communities have turned challenges into opportunities and reshaped their economic futures serves as a model for all of us who face similar situations and for any community looking to strengthen and ensure its own prosperity. Involving academia is not a strategy only for communities with high-tech histories. Danville, Virginia is in the heart of what was for many generations a textile and tobacco region. Danville had an employer, Danville Mills, that employed at one time 12,000 people, and that mill has gone now. There were many tobacco factories here in the city of Danville that has also closed. In the 1990s, Danville attracted a number of high-tech companies. The largest was Ericsson, the communications equipment manufacturer. At its peak, Ericsson employed 4,000 engineers and researchers, but in 2002, it left. When the region's economic development uh, folks looked around and realized that there was a strategic weakness and that we had a relatively large number of high-tech companies, high-tech manufacturing companies or uh, even uh, some growing R&D, but we had no research university. And that was a real challenge for companies that needed scientists and engineers. And so the effort began to try to develop some long-term strategy to address that issue. That effort resulted in two significant research, education, and outreach centers. The Center for Advanced Engineering and Research and the Institute for Advanced Learning and Research. The whole rationale for the Institute being set up was to be able to develop uh, and build upon the economy in this region using science and technology. And of course, because of the, the major uh, importance in this area of agriculture, primarily tobacco, um, uh, certainly a plant biology program here would, would fit. In a community where formal education has traditionally been undervalued, Danville's high-tech vision of the future is creating among young people a new attitude about learning. We think we can, we can really you know, hopefully stimulate the, the kids who are currently growing up here to pursue a higher level of education and then also provide opportunities so that when they're done going to college or university, they might actually have jobs to come back to in this region.